Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. And welcome to this new video uh, on Pi. All right. Wanted to do a quick video on that. It's um, it's uh, well, it's 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 been fundamentally quite strong. All right. Uh, if you, I believe, if you look at the number number of people staking Pi right now, it has absolutely rocketed. And apart from that, if you if you take into account the entire market. Pyth is actually one of the best performers still. I, I temporarily, I actually shorted this um, for like one day. I, I exited at, at, at break even at entry. But the, the thing is, is that I thought it was, you know, a little bit overvalued, especially in bearish market circumstances. Uh, but then B Bitcoin obviously recovered a bit on, on Tuesday, got some bullish momentum. And especially since then, Pyth has been strong. You can see that it's, uh, actually, technically, in a in, in in an uptrend, we're still making higher lows, higher highs. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to see in the next couple of days. There definitely is a chance that Byth will drop down here. But the thing is, is that fundamentally, I mean, Solana isn't that strong. Byth is obviously a Solana network coin. Uh, so Byth, so Solana is not that strong. That's that's not amazing. But something that is true is that airdrops are still pretty hot, right? And the thing is, and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm calling it potentially the next Celestia, uh, which is not completely true, but it potentially could be because one of the main reasons that Celestia was very bullish is because you could get airdrops by staking it. And the thing with Pyth is that you can also stake it. So people are speculating that you could potentially get airdrops if you stake Pyth. Uh, which, just to be fair with you and just to be transparent, I've actually staked my Pyth <laughs> to potentially get those airdrops. Um, but that is, um, but, but I mean, that's something we'll see for the future, but that does increase the, the buying pressure and the, and, and the demand in general at this moment. So if we look at the momentum, just in general, what you'll see is that the momentum is actually down over the last week. Like it was higher on Sunday when we, when we made those highs right here on Sunday, the, the momentum was much higher. Uh, so that is uh, something you, you definitely need to know. But then again, I mean, we just broke above 40 cents, just got a major bullish breakout. Like I said, the EMAs are sloping up. They're providing support again. Uh, we're making higher lows still, and that, that is confirmed very recently. So <clears throat> I'm kind of torn because the, the market and the market circumstances tell me to tell you uh, that Pyth will break down at some point of time. But if I then look at Pyth specifically and just only at Pyth, I, I would actually say it's most likely it will continue going up. All right, I do think we'll test this level right here between 38 and a half and 40 cents. Uh, but at this moment, it just looks most likely that we'll actually continue going up here. All right, so that we'll get up towards this resistance level right here at 45, 46. And then potentially, if this market structure holds, we can actually go all the way up to 50 cents. Uh, but that's something we'll have to see. I'll I'll try to give you updated on that if if you're interested in that, of course. All right, so so let me know that down in the comments. Uh, but this is the main thing, all right, because this looks most likely just because everything I can see for Pyth. If Bitcoin gets a bearish breakout today, Pyth will follow, all right. And just in general, Pyth is going to test that support between forty and thirty-eight cents. If it's going to drop down below that level, all right. So if we get a bearish breakout for Pyth, first of all, I was wrong. You should know that, but that doesn't matter. I just want you to be prepared, all right? Um, so if that happens, so if we, for example, so for example, close around 35 cents, we had a bearish breakout, and then it's more likely we'll just consolidate first, all right? Because a consolidation from this price area is also still possible. Um, but yeah, no, that's what I think you need to know, all right? So if you do have any questions, then let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.